Alright, so what's good, Straw Gang, and welcome back to another video. Welcome to a really, like, a, just an odd upload. It's 3.20 a.m. as I'm recording this, and it's going to be a very quick showcase, so I thought I could, you know, get this out before I go to bed. So basically, I'm going to be showing you guys how to run NVIDIA game filters without it flickering on game capture. Now, pretty much before this was out and available on OBS, anyone who ran game filters on a single PC setup would get their game flickering when they, you know, try to use the filters, right? So I'm going to showcase what it looks like before and after, because this is an absolute godsend. So what you guys are seeing on screen right now is pretty much what it looks like when you don't enable this new feature on OBS. This is game capture with NVIDIA filters on. So basically what you want to do is I'll bring up OBS here. What you want to do is go into game capture, right click, hit properties, and go down to this new, uh, this new option here, attempt to fix synchronization for direct 3D 12. Now I'll leave the link to this new OBS in the description by the way, so you can download it. But look at the difference, look at that. Look how much it's flickering on the little window there. Enable it. Boom. It is now perfect. Uh, and I'll even turn on game capture as well so you can see. And now you're able to tweak with the shadows, the brightness, contrast, all that type of stuff. So that you're able to get uh, the shadows pretty much removed and you'll be able to see rose skin a lot easier. So if you guys found this video helpful, don't forget to leave a like and hit that red sub button down below with post notes on so you do not miss an upload. I'm dropping gameplays every single day, even triple uploaded today. So, you know, lots of content coming to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you all in the next one. Have a great day, everybody, and I'm out.